What's going on guys? CC here. Like promised, I am making a Spring Bonnie video. So, let's get into it. Alrighty, so, we'll be starting from the waist down. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, the hips are a little squashed. They used to be a little rounder on the bottom there, in between my legs. But since they were sitting in my room for so long, gravity just kind of took their toll on them. And uh, you can see here, this is usually a two-person job. I need somebody to hold down my pant legs, but I figured I could do it on my own. Time for the chest and arms. I just remembered that I am unable to get this part out without somebody's help. It could be problematic. Don't worry. Modern problems require modern solutions. Mom! Can I have your help? With my so kind mother's help, got it all latched up. I'd use the silver eyes as reference for this part, and I didn't really know how else to get the back to connect like that, because I had no idea what I was doing. But, arms. Here are the gloves I made. Probably my favorite part about the whole project. Um, well, that, these, and the, the mask, the hat, whatever you want to call it. Got these gloves from Amish Country. They're made of deer hide, and went back to the shop and they no longer sell them, which sucks because I kind of just wanted to get a pair just to wear when I get the phone out or whatever, but it's not gonna happen. These things did fall apart a lot on me. And I was just really a pain to get on. Oh dear. I think I've made a critical mistake here. When I had first made the gloves, I tried making their way where I could take the yellow parts off. So I could just wear them as normal gloves, but it didn't work out, so I just ended up gluing them on. just have to settle with these looking uh, terribly floppy because yeah then for the final part the mask first I get my, get my head out of here all right
So already, I am extremely hot in this thing. And one of the problems I had when building it is that the head don't fit quite well on top of the body. So I don't even know if you can see my eye right there. That's like the only vision I have because on this side, no good. It, the uh, It wasn't built right. Ha uh, I wore it on Halloween and half the night I was looking out the mouth because that's, that's all the better I could see. But, I mean, it looks okay. Yeah. But for what it's worth, it's alright. Now I'll be doing what I can for a full body demonstration, so if you're not too interested in that, just go ahead and skip to the timestamp on screen. These gloves give me so much trouble, I'm telling you. talk about some of the things that went wrong and all the problems this big old hunk of foam has. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. Let's discuss the pros and cons of this thing. The pros? I got a flippin' ding-dong! Spring Bonnie, look at this thing. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks really cool. I usually have it set in the corner of my room, sitting there looking all slumped over. I think it's really cool. Also, this flower right here, there was a... I, I wore this out on Halloween. And somebody was dressed up as a ghost, like, covered in blood and roses. And they gave me one of their roses. That was, that was really nice of them. So, I always like to keep that right on his ear. Now, I'm going to list the cons. And that, that's a rather large list. I don't know what the heck I was thinking with using all these bolts. That just makes things super inconvenient. 
I wanted there to be two buttons down the front, but I only had one silver button that looked like that. And you can tell I screwed up all of the hot glue and all this stuff right here. The right glove here, the inside, since the, uh, the gloves were too layered, the inside layer usually ends up peeling out, which is really inconvenient. This is a common problem throughout. Um, instead of using some sort of straight edge or whatever to like cut this and make it look all flat and whatever, or maybe even stitching it together, I just cut it crappily and glued it over. I, I, I don't know why I did that. If you take a look at the top of this, it's nice and curved. Uh, but for some reason, all these, I just left them flat. Uh, next time I do it, I will have them curved a little. And I will not be using EVA foam. That stuff gets way too hot. You need a flashlight to see in here, but the, the heel is all folded in and whatever, which makes it really hard to put on. And when I made this, you're supposed to have four toes. It has three barely even visible ones. I, I form them terribly. This thing just... Ugh. Legs don't really have any form of connection, which kind of stinks. Like they just, like you saw, they just kind of sit there. I built the thigh joints really bad. As you can see here, this one has a big opening to fit, but then this one's just like a tube. It doesn't have any thigh shape to it. This guy, although my favorite piece of it all, causes me the most troubles. First, oh, would you look at that? So the this is actually one of the biggest problems I had. Um, I'm a genius. I thought it'd be a good idea to use real metal hinges and screw them into the foam. Well, on Halloween when we were walking around, one of the screws actually fell out. So um, I might have given someone a flat tire. And then the other one fell out. Who knows when? That could have been as I'm filming. I have no idea. Um... The teeth, look at that, they're flimsy. When I actually went out on Halloween, I didn't have any thick white EVA foam. I used two layers of thin stuff, which is why you can see all that nasty right there. Um, eyes are just whatever, they, they weren't put quite in the proper spot. The worst part. I thought it would be a good idea to use wooden screws to keep the ears on. What kind of genius does that? Oh yeah, and I used metal hinges here too. Screwed it in. Of course it didn't work here, so I had to glue it together and use sticks and junk. It, it's just it's just so heavy too. It's the only part that's two layers. I did that because uh, the first layer sucked and well, yeah. You can see here too, more crappy fabric work. Just, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a little ugly, but for first time, it, it's not that bad for a first time. And, you know, I, I just, I kind, I kind of grown a little bit of an attachment to it. So, um, I'm proud of it. Here are some pictures my parents took on Halloween. I had taken a bunch of progress photos while I was building it, and I was going to put them all together and upload them to YouTube, and they were all on this tablet, but, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I guess in the end, when, when it's all said and done, it looks it looks pretty good for a first time. I have like this love-hate relationship with it. And I have to wear something underneath or else my nose is digging into sharp EVA foam. And I got screws digging into the top of my head. But I love this guy. I hate this guy. Oh well. Well, guess that's all I got for this boy right here. 
like if you enjoyed the video, dislike if you didn't like the video, uh, leave a nice comment, leave a rude comment, I don't really care, do what you want if it's a free country, and subscribe if you're interested. Um, I plan on making another one of these big old bunny costumes one day, just, just, just maybe not him again, but yeah, that's all I got, so God bless you and keep it real.